Welcome back uh, to Lesson 6 of using TurboCAD to draw a model airplane plan. And what we're going to do in Lesson 6 is continue with our work of the wing and show how we make the completed ribs, some work on the spars, and then the final uh, wing itself with comments. Let's go ahead and look at, review what we did on the previous Lesson 5 with the wing. We've completed the angle of the dihedral brace. Uh, this is the brace with um, without the dihedral. So let's go ahead and delete this right now because this is an old piece because we don't have the angle we just select and delete and what I've done on the rib over here on the left we'll zoom in here for a second is I've completed it for the end with the various cutouts for the 1 8 inch square balsa top and bar bottom the notches for the um, 1 16 inch balsa dihedral brace the rear spars and the trailing edge I'm going to zoom out with a scroll wheel. What I'd like to do is clean up uh, this plan view of the rib to show what exactly has to be cut out from the balsa to make the rib itself. So make sure our snaps are turned off. We've selected. Let's go ahead and left click, select the rib. We will copy and paste. Move this down here. And let me zoom out just a little bit. And with the selection tool we will left click close to horizontal shift key undo the click and now we have a uh, perfectly horizontal um, rib so let's zoom in on this and we'll we'll clean this up to what is necessary to make the actual rib cut out now remember we exploded the airfoil shape it's a series of curves and so it's it's uncertain where the segments are so we have to with the scroll wheel zoom pretty closely to the front actually I'll use a zoom window so we can see what we're doing as we um, take off this uh, 1 8 inch square leading edge that's sanded to have just the rib itself so first of all let's just kind of take a look if we just click you can see that it's just a series of small segments uh, here and what we'll do is we'll initially trim we'll left click the line here as the um, as the leading edge and let's zoom in to see where that is and for whatever reason that's not liking that there we go so we click very close to it and we get a break so now we can uh, essentially select this and just with the delete key because there's nothing to trim make a clean break we'll do the same thing with the uh, scroll wheel we're going to trim left click cutting edge we click right there now we have a break that's all we need escape we go back to select and we're just going to carefully take that portion now that we have a break we can select this whole section right here delete and we've gotten rid of the leading edge same thing uh, here for the bottom of the spar we're going to uh, probably a good idea to split entity this in any case uh, so we'll trim, left click cutting edge, not sure why that's not working there, let's escape, uh, we'll, uh, oh I know, because we need an entity between these two here, so we'll split the entity here, and we'll trim, left click there, escape, left click, trim, hmm. let's take a look at the select, Ah, it's its own thing right there for whatever reason. Okay, so we'll left click with trim this portion to get rid of that. Escape. This is no need to trim because we'll simply select it and delete. And then now this is an end right here. We can trim, cutting edge, left click, escape, zoom out with a scroll wheel. You can see we have the cutout for that rib. Now a similar thing with the scroll wheel, we'll zoom into the top here. Um, we'll just trim to see where that is, the cutting edge, and we have a break there, that's good. Escape, again the curve's unpredictable, good. Alright, now this is, don't need to trim because it stands alone, we'll go ahead and select that. Delete, and with the scroll wheel zoom out, we've done that. And so we'll continue uh, with the remainder. We'll just trim for the rear spar. Uh, that came out fine there. And on the bottom, uh, we'll split entity because it's a straight line, probably a little bit more predictable. Trim, cutting edge, left click, escape, 
left click for the cutting edge trim escape I'll do the same thing for the trailing edge here uh, with the trim tool cutting edge left click that's fine there escape and we'll set this as a cutting edge see what happens good okay so everything worked out fine we'll zoom out with a scroll wheel and you can see by trimming all that we have the um, finished rib if we cut that out it will all let me just go here and if we just select this and we move it over here uh, this rib in place here has all the necessary cutouts for the spars okay what we'd like to do now is um, just take a moment and draw this 1 16th inch ply uh, um, dihedral brace right here so what we're going to do is we'll take construction lines and we're going to go to a vertex and we'll zoom in here it'll be on the edge here and this will be the edge right here and so we'll escape we'll go ahead and draw a horizontal construction line oh, it's looking for a snap good thing with the tone there and we'll escape and what we'll do is with a line uh, we'll snap to a vertex we're just going to draw the bottom of the brace we will escape, turn off the snaps. Uh, with the parallel tool, we're just going to make it um, two tenths of an inch high just to save a little bit of weight. And it should be a parallel tool. Select that, and we will just make that go up with the offset tab 0 0.2 Enter. Okay, now we will go ahead and zoom in on this portion right here and get rid of this line right here. Uh, vertex snap will draw a line on the edge here, edge here. And now we will select this. We will go ahead and um, right click at the reference point or at the end we'll put the reference point right here and just like we did with the dihedral brace we have the ability to rotate it and we know from before that when we rotated it for the two inch dihedral it was a six degree angle so we're going to tab to the rotation and we can see that uh, what we need is a 6 enter. And notice it went down, so I made a mistake. What I'm going to do is go ahead and enter again, except this time it's going to be a negative 6, because that is the proper dihedral angle. And we get rid of this escape, and there's the correct angle for the dihedral brace. Again, just like we did uh, before with the um, 1 16th inch spar, we can uh, clean up this line. We'll go ahead and take the line, snap to the vertex right there, turn off the snap, hold the shift key for vertical, the line there. We'll go ahead and clear the construction lines with the trim, cutting surface here, escape, cutting surface here escape select just the line right here delete and there you have half of the uh, dihedral brace again it's a very easy situation with um, the mirror command we select all the mirror command we go to vertex mirror vertex vertex escape and there are your two halves for the, or, or actually we can uh, select this because it's going to be one unit. Uh, we put in, uh, select that, delete, because of the mirror command, there's two. We select it again, and there is your 1 16th uh, inch ply dihedral brace that goes right here at the proper angle. And of course, the one thing to keep in mind, this rib, I'm going to call it W1. You'll have to have an extra cutout in front, same way we did before to accommodate the uh, plywood um, uh, brace.
So the final thing we're going to do on this portion is make the complete wing. Uh, as always, we'll save and we will um, make a copy of this wing half. So copy and then paste. We'll zoom out with a scroll wheel. We'll put this down here. That tone is it still thinks it's going to snap somewhere. And let's just review for a second before we do this uh, mirror. We're simply going to do a vertex snap. We're going to use this vertex end of the line here, and that is going to how we're going to uh, make our wing. So we click on the vertex, select the entire wing, so we know what we're going to mirror. Select the mirror command. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Notice that the vertex is on that line. It snaps right to this line here. Escape. And here we have, uh, just with no work at all, the second half of the wing uh, uh, noticed here. Now the final thing that I want to uh, mention on this mirror copy is that as we complete the construction of the wing, there's going to be 1 16th inch sheet balls that filled in between the ribs. We're not going to make it go on top of the ribs for easy construction, just between it. What that means, for example, is on this ply uh, dihedral brace down here. It'll have to be a dashed line because it's going to be underneath the, um, the, the uh, balls of fill. So what I do is, uh, again, we'll turn off the snaps. We just select this line. We go to the properties. Under the pen, we have a dashed line, and we're going to make the scale just a little bit lower, 0.1, and we click OK on that and we click out of it, notice it's a dashed line. We want to apply that dashed line elsewhere. Left click Format Painter, pick up the format, and it's very easy to click here, uh, for example, here, here, uh, Escape, to have the uh, dashed line on the wing to indicate that it's underneath the covered balsa. So that's a review of the finished wing, the mirror commands, making the dihedral brace, uh, cleaning up the wing rib to have the necessary cutouts, and uh, that should be all we need to do on the wing. And for Lesson 7, I look forward to discussing our initial work on the snapper fuselage.